What's going on all you happy little souls out there? My name is obviously Grim, and today we're going to be looking for the best way to make gold in Mortal Online 2. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is the horse and corpse method. This method is going to require a horse and horse bags. And all you have to do once you get those is head right to any town and into its graveyard. Once you're there, you have two options. You can find a walking dead and you can kill it, take its head and its body and slaughter it and put it in the bags. Or you can just walk around and take the bodies that are left behind by some players. You might find some, you may not. It depends on if people are doing what you're doing here, which there are going to be quite a few doing it. With that being said, some towns like Vada have big enough graveyards where you can actually find a spot where a Walking Dead spawns, and you can just camp that and just keep killing that Walking Dead over and over again, slaughtering its body, putting the remnants from that body into your horse bag, and stacking it until it is full. Once your horse is full and you're full on heads, you can head right down into town and sell this stuff. I usually get about 10 gold right around there each time I do this, and then you're just going to repeat the process. Now this is the safest way I've found to make gold in Mortal Online 2, because this is always going to be near a town, and you're going to be relatively safe because you have a bunch of other blue tags with you repeating this process as well. The biggest issue you are going to face when doing this is you're going to be running into people competing for the same spots as you. And really the only thing you have to do to deal with that is exchange some kind words with them and they'll generally go away. And if they decide not to go away and start taking swings at you, well, you have a bunch of other blue tags with you to help you take out that criminal scum. One thing I will point out about doing this is it's going to be completely repetitive. You are just constantly killing zombies, slaughtering their corpses, and then taking them to town, selling and repeating the process. It is going to get boring. That being said, you cannot argue with results. 10 gold a pop is actually really good. So the pros, it is safe, lucrative, and easy to replicate. The cons, it is just really boring. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is getting into the pet trade. Now this process isn't for everyone because it does require you to have the ability to at least hold one or more pet and the ability to tame or know somebody who can. During recording this video, I had high creature control but zero taming. So I was able to hold two horses. My guildmate tamed them, then passed them along to me and my partners, and we repeated the process until all of us had no more pet points to give. Now you can do this with any tameable creature in the game. That being said, horses seem to be the most lucrative and you can bring some horse bags with you and hunt on the way back and really make some bank. You really just have to make sure you collect enough food along the way for the animal, otherwise they will end up losing all their loyalty and run away from you. I do, however, highly recommend you do not do this alone. This requires you to be away from the safety of a town, and despite MO2's large map size, you will run into people. And even though not everyone is going to want to gank you, some will and you will end up in fights at some point while you're playing. Even while I was recording this, somebody did decide they wanted to kill our horses simply because we were taming them. Thankfully, we have the numbers advantage and we were able to take out that guy, but it is worth mentioning you do not want to go out alone because you are going to end up in fights and you may lose all of your stuff, and that's no fun for anybody. But even with the threat of losing your stuff, this is still a very good way to make gold, especially when it comes to horses because everybody's going to need them. I mean, if you just take a look in the marketplace, you'll even see we have horses being sold here for 6 gold and beyond that. So if you have the ability to get multiple horses up on the marketplace for 5 gold a pop, you're going to have a consistent revenue source. There are two big things you want to consider while you're doing this. The first one is the level of the horse. The level of the horse dictates the price it is sold at. If you try and sell it too high, it's not going to sell, and if you try and go too low, you'll tank the market and that's not good for anybody. I'm going to sell mine for 6 gold because that seems to be the market price here in Bada for horses around its level. The nice thing about this method is once you have it on the market, all you have to do is sit back and watch the money roll in. Just come back and check every so often and you will have some gold waiting for you. Now this can be really fun to do and you can make a lot of gold, but it is time consuming and there's a high chance of death. Next up we have dungeon diving and world bosses. Now this is the most exciting way to make some gold. You're out exploring and adventuring, you and your crew get to fight big bad monsters and loot them. There really isn't much not to like here. I would like to recommend to you that you have plenty of party members. A healer, a tank, DPS, range DPS, it is all extremely needed and you're going to need multiple of them. 
the monsters you're going to come across in Mirrorland are going to be extremely tough, and the bosses are doubly so, and they hit hard. And on top of those roided out NPCs, you also have other players to contend with. Keeping in mind that this is full loot PvP, you are going to want the numbers on your side here. That being said, the world bosses are fun to fight and the caves are really fun to explore. But they are really dangerous and you are most likely going to die. Whether it be to a boss or to another player, this really is a high risk venture. So this means you're going to need a horse with bags on it or a pet with bags on it in order to store a ton of loot all at once, that way you can get the most out of your trip. When I was recording this, I actually spent about an hour running around in the spider cave and doing some bandit camps, and really I did not yield all that much. After I split everything up with my party and sold my stuff, I only ended up with a little over 6 gold, which is really lackluster when you think about the amount of time I spent on this trip. So this was really fun, and while you do make a decent amount of gold, it does take a little long compared to the other methods, and there's a high chance of death. That's the three ways i found to make the most amount of gold per run. The most lucrative one in my opinion is always going to be the Walking Dead. It's right next to town so it's safe, and you have a quick ride back and forth between your runs. That's all I have for you guys today, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I hope all you happy little souls have a great rest of your day, I will see you in the next one.